Today we're going to be taking a look at this electric spin scrubber. It's the HL1002. Let's get it out of the box. Let's check it out. We got this from a company that asked if I wanted to check the spin scrubber out. And they would send me one. And I said sure. Now, as always, links for these products will be in the description below. So let's open this up. First thing, we have... Our little manual. We have some different accessories. And we have a handle. Oh, that's nice. And we have the unit. Feels very nice. Oh, it's got two speeds. It's got a high and a low. So this is nice. You can put your handles on or you can use it just like this. This would be nice for buffing cars. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, like I always do, is I'm gonna uh, put this on the charger and let it charge. This is rechargeable. And um, I'm gonna go through the, oh, this is a hanger. That's nice. This is a hanger. You stick this up on the wall. This is, it's clear. You peel the back off of this. And this will stick on the wall. Then you put this down in there. This is where your handle goes. Your handle will screw into there. And you don't need all the handle pieces if you don't, don't want them. You can use it like that. You can use it like this. You can put this handle piece here for shorter, or you can add this one, then this one for a longer handle, almost the size of a mop handle, lengthwise. So, all right, let me get this plugged in, make sure it's fully charged. And we'll get to using it. Here's your charger right here. And it is USB C, so that's nice. So let me get this charged up. We'll check a few of these things out. Okay, so we'll go over a few of the attachments you get with it, the accessories. This is called a pointed brush, of course. It's getting cracks and crevices. You have a curved brush. See the curve on it. You have a cleaning brush holder. You have the flat brush. You have the large sponge brush that just it's like a velcro. Just stick that on there like that. Peel it off. And you have a polishing cloth.
just sticks on there like it. You have a scouring pad. Very nice. This also seems to be an applicator for putting polish on something if you're going to use for this or this. And you have a little storage bag. Very handy. Again, you have your stick on mount. And when you have it stuck onto the wall, and then when you take it off, it just comes off. Just like that. Very nice. So I'll try it out on a few things. I'm not gonna go overboard on that. We're not gonna check out every brush. We get the idea, but I think this is this is pretty nice. Um, especially, I mean, these two here can, can buff out a car, you know, in hard to reach places. I do have other uh, auto buffers in there, but this, this is handy that you can just, uh, I've got it plugged in right now, but that you can just, um, hold it in your hand or if you're say cleaning on the floor um, let's say the grout on your tile floor you might want to use something like this or something like this to clean your grout you have a long handle that's very nice so I'm gonna let that charge a little longer and then um, I'm gonna put this handle together Just screws together just like okay hang on screws together like this and that's a pretty long pretty long handle uh, it's probably about three foot handle so yeah, that's very nice. Okay, let me let this charge, and we'll uh, we'll try to use a couple of these little attachments. We're, like I said, we're not going to go overboard. Um, we know what attachments do and things, but I do like that this is a a polishing. You get polishing pads with it. I do like that, and that this you can just easily change your pads over. Very nice. And here's another nice little feature. When you screw this on, there's a little button here. When you screw the head onto the handle, you screw it until it tightens up and then give it a little click. You'll hear it click and see that pop up and it will not untwist on you until you push the button to untwist it. Good feature there. And guys, as you can see, this is, this is long. This is a long attachment or long handle for the attachments. I don't have to bend down if I don't want. I can just turn it on, clean grout, mop the floor, whatever I want to do with this. Or if I want to do something by hand that we're going to do here in just a second, take the handle off and you can just use this by hand if you're wanting to get into places like up on the wall, wall tiles or something of that nature. Okay, so we'll do a quick test here. This is a good candidate here. This is the bottom of our bar stools. As you can see, they always get nasty. That's where your feet is all the time. So I've got a little bit of chrome polish here. I want to put a little bit on my blue applicator. Put some of that on there. Now, we've got this pad. We're gonna put this pad on here. We're gonna start out low. Then we'll move up to high. What this does, it'll cut the dirt and grime. 
And we'll, when it comes down to a dull shine like that, we're going to take our pad off. Then we're going to put our polishing pad on, just like this. And we're just going to start out on high. And there you go. I hope you can see the difference on that from up here to there. So there you go, a very nice product. And as always, the link for this product will be in the description box below. Now all I have to do is finish that bar stool and do another one. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye bye and take care.